quality. This story is about the Gessler brothers who were shoemakers. They owned a shop in a stylish part of London. The shop was very simple but was as peaceful as a church. The narrator knew the younger of the two brothers because he had made his father's boots. The Gessler brothers only made boots on order. The boots crafted by the younger brother were pieces of art as they lasted very long. Once the narrator told him how one of the boots made by him had made a creaking sound. The younger Gessler brother asked the narrator to bring them back and promised to return the money he had charged if he had failed to repair them. He was a very honest and hard-working shoemaker who cared about the smallest detail in the boots he crafted. That is why he could easily spot the problems in a pair of boots that the narrator had bought from a big company. He was angry that the big companies charged a lot of money for poor quality boots. He was also upset about the big companies making a lot of money only through advertisements and not through quality work. Seeing the shoemaker so sorrowful, the narrator ordered several pairs of boots. The boots were so well made that the narrator did not feel the need to visit the shoemaker for a long time. After two years, when the narrator visited the shoe shop, he met the older brother and inquired about his younger brother. The shoemaker revealed that he was the younger brother and his older brother had died. The narrator was shocked to find how much the younger Mr. Gessler had aged, so he ordered several pairs of boots again. He received them after a very long time, but their quality was better than ever and they lasted very long. Soon after, the narrator went abroad. A year later, when he returned to London, he went to the shoe shop. He realized the shoemaker looked 15 years older and was very weak. The narrator placed an order for several pairs of boots. He received them after a long time. Excitedly, he tried on all the pairs and found that each one fit perfectly. The narrator immediately posted a check for the shoemaker. A week later, the narrator visited the shop to convey his gratitude to the shoemaker. To his surprise, the name of the shop was different. Inside, he met a young Englishman instead of the old German shoemaker. The young man told the narrator that Mr. Gessler had died of starvation. The man spoke of how the shoemaker had worked hard to complete the few orders he received due to increased competition. He was so particular about his craft that he did not allow anyone else to help him. Delays in delivery also led to loss of customers. Despite using the best leather to make the most perfect boots, he had no money. He spent all his money on leather and rent. He dedicated his life to his art.